Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. There is a mystery on the day by day farm. And I didn't find it. I'm the one that makes every decision for our animals. I tell Sam what to feed the horses. I make all the decisions about the goats. I make all the decisions about the horses. Like, I'm in charge of all the animals because I always want it done a certain way. And animal? lately, Sophie's been having this amazing sixth sense about the animals and nobody usually does. It's usually me that notices stuff that our old brown chicken has been going missing. Anna. Every night when it's time to go in, one of the chickens doesn't go in. She goes missing. And then we see her in the morning for like 20 minutes and then we don't see her again. And I'm like, what the heck? And what did you decide? She's broody somewhere. She's broody somewhere. She's got our, our eggs. She's kidnapped our eggs, so let's go find them. This is all Sam's stuff. Farms need like a barn to put junk in and a barn for animals. All right, she stays alive every night, so she's hidden well. Scream out, you guys, if you see her. We saw her this morning. Oh, you did? Yeah. She already came by? Yep, she's already out. Like, I'm afraid of freaking snakes. There's that tree down there. All right. The snakes is the least of your worries? All right, let's keep looking. She's definitely, this is Sophie's little garden. We gotta dig it out. I know she's in here somewhere. Dad would be able to find her. Mom wants you to come find her. Come show us where you saw the chicken come out. I don't know, I just saw it by the hay wagon. But by I don't know where it went. All right, she is hiding somewhere. I mean, she's just, if we don't find her, then she's just gonna come back. She's got her place. eggs. <laughs> I want to find her. Sylvia has the best eye. I'm telling you now. Stop saying that because I'm, I'm gonna miss it. No, you have the best eye. I always hear stories of people who are like, yeah, my chicken went missing and it didn't come back for weeks and weeks and then all of a sudden it came back with a whole slew of babies. Well, that would be fun. That would not be fun. It would be. And we know she's alive because she comes back every morning. She comes back every morning, but she actually can't get where the food and the water is. That's what bothers me. We need to find her at least and put food there. Oh, I'm sure she does. Sophie Spider. Oh, there she is. There's nothing in there. She was hiding. There's absolutely nothing in there. Well, there are eggs somewhere. Follow her. Lead us to your bounty. She's like in here? She looks like she's lost weight. Go. Oh. I want to say go throw her in the coop, but I'm afraid to do that. Oh, all right. Somebody's gonna have to climb under here and find the eggs. We know she's got a nest. I'm worried that it's down there. There's a big hole underneath those stairs. We're gonna eat breakfast and then I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do about Sylvie's new horse because last night God told it to me in a dream. Just one egg? Yes. She pecked me also. She pecked you? Yeah. She's well, we can't leave her out here though. That's the problem. We can like, put her in the coop with her one egg. Yeah, let's put her in the coop with You're her one egg. You're catching her. She pecked me. All right. All right. So let's check out her nest. So this is the nest she made. It, this is where all of our horse jumps and stuff, we store them. And there it is. That's her egg. That's her nest. I feel like there's got to be more eggs in there there's than that. Egg. Sylvie wants me to leave it there and then we'll come back and catch her when she's laying there again. Oh, Sylvie wants to let her hatch it. It's one egg. Usually they like get a whole clutch and then hatch. She probably laid it. It was like, I'm broody she, now. She's special. Every day we come down when it's nice and warm out and we let Rosie out. We wait till the dew is dry in the grass. I'm putting them down here. Everything. So we bring them out when it, we know like it's a good time. <laughs> And Rosie is always standing at the door waiting. Like she bursts out of the door. Sophie's like, I'm in love with that baby goat. I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was 
feeling so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better So this field here that goes down here, the grass is just growing big enough so that we can put the horses in here. We're gonna put like a couple of the ponies in here to eat it down. In the past, we've cut it all the time, but Sam wants to use as much food as we can. And I absolutely agree. So uh, our Sophie's cousin, Sophie and Gabby's cousin is going to start taking lessons at our barn. And look at honey. Hi, honey bear. Are you bored? Hey? The problem is she's never really ridden before. I can never get this door open. Oh. Oops. Get out. I know you're gonna try and break out. So, Sophie and Gabby offered to give her a few tips and, and let her ride Storm a couple of times before she goes for her first lesson. So we're gonna do that tonight. Sophie, can, Sophie set up like some pylons and some poles today to help kind of teach her steering and stuff. And Penny came and pushed everything over. <laughs> yeah. The plan is to help her learn a little bit of the basics before she starts. Woo! Before she starts in lessons. I found Penny's fly mask. Hi chickies! I miss the chickens on the other side of the fence. I miss you guys so much! Where, where are you guys hiding your eggs? Look at Penguin, he's huge. Look at little Toadie, isn't he a cutie? Looks like the chickens have found out how to get over there. I thought like we should clean this up a bit because Sophie's gonna bring in all Gabby's stuff for her to ride on. Do you wanna have this saddle rack right here, Sophie? I do not know how we ended up with such a big mess. Yeah, yeah you, you're making me want to try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet. So we said that she could pick any saddle pad. I told Sophie she could pick any saddle pad, pad that color that she wants, because that's part of being the fun part of learning to ride is color coordinating. And what did you say, Sophie? I can choose any one but this one. Yep. Yeah. Comment below why she can't choose that light blue one. There's a reason. What's the reason? That Finn's number, his last reserve champion number. That's special to her. I'm actually so excited to like be in here a lot and use this room. So we got everything set up. His halter, she's gonna tack him up here. I am super excited to see somebody else riding Storm. I love this room. I just don't love the dust. Like the dust is insane. And it always becomes like the catch-all for everything. Like this is my chicken brooder and I'm gonna need it for when we start our, our brooder season, but there's no room to put it anywhere. So it just gets stuck in here. Hi, <laughs> I could hear them making noise. They could hear me. They're like, come get me. I really wanna tackle this. So I might do that while they're out here doing their thing. Oh, there's some sunscreen. I was looking for sunscreen. I swear people throw their stuff in here and don't like, look at that. That is not for me. Actually, wouldn't it be better instead of like putting my grooming br brushes out there if I just made a bag for her? More sun or bug spray, we need that. It is hours later, hours. <laughs> Sometimes I like will video something and then have to and then get busy come back to the vlog like hours and hours later And I still remember where I left off <laughs> So the girls helped their cousin Do storm he did so good she did so good, but I have like this weird issue that I just Developed yeah storms like I want food suddenly I have like a rash on me not a rash, but I have like let me see if I can show you guys. I have like, can you see? It's like bug bites. Or at least I think it's bug bites. I have them here. I have them here. Like just touching it makes it so itchy. Look, can you guys see it? Oh, Penny's in a rage. 
but I have them on my ankles, and now I have it on the back of my leg. So I'm starting to wonder if it's the goat milk. And that worries me because I love the goat milk. So I got the calamine lotion and I'm gonna try it. Sorry for this mixed up vlog. Today was kind of a crazy vlog. <laughs> Run, Piggy! You guys are all mixed up. Everybody's all mixed up. Anyways, I wanted to tell you guys that very soon, this stall is going to be filled because we got a horse. Sophie's getting a horse. Uh-oh. Ah, watch out. <laughs> Sophie's getting a horse. Um, we still have to sign the agreement, like the lease agreement. We're going to lease her for six months. See how it goes. And if it goes good, we're going to buy her. But we, like, I'm nervous about it. Just because... I don't know. I don't know why I'm nervous about it. I just know that last night I was like, I, I've been nervous about it and, and stressed about it, trying to figure it out if it's the right horse for us. I just think someone said recently there's no perfect horse and I think that is true. And last night I had a dream and God had told me in my dream, bring her home, just bring her home. So we're going to bring her home and we're gonna leave her here for a short time and we're gonna like bond with her and get to know her and we're gonna drive into lessons but then it once it gets closer to show season if sophie wants to board her for a little while she can once it like the weather gets a little bit better and stuff but for now she's coming home you guys she's coming home i don't it's not like tomorrow or not this weekend soon though really soon she's coming home so essentially we got a horse don't you know that you're